Good afternoon, you lovely lot. I have nothing to share with you on this Friday, really, but I'm going to film anyway. So, as you'll have probably gathered from the vlogs I've done this week, I've not been feeling too great. Um, I've had on and off headaches, which have then caused on and off nausea. Um, I've eaten loads because when I get headaches, I do this thing where I cycle through trying to find out what my body needs and it's just an instinctual thing um so i end up usually going for a piece of fruit first then i go on something sugary uh salty which is usually a plain packet of crisps or peanuts or something uh then i hit the chocolate if that doesn't work and i kind of go through this process of trying to find out what it is that my body is lacking uh then we had the adrenaline run yesterday when i uh you'll have seen when the ferret got attacked by the dogs when when the dogs bit through the ferret tube yesterday at work and if you haven't seen it you don't see anything happen to the ferrets you just hear the commotion and the camera was running when we noticed what was going on um but i scaled the wire fencing i actually don't remember doing it other than standing on something my foot going through it don't i don't actually remember scaling the fence it was just pure adrenaline and getting between the great danes and the poor ferret that they'd been throwing around um, and then trying to make sure they didn't get the other one that also got out because the tube had been ripped in half so uh, for the rest of the day I just felt so drained Emma said I looked washed out when she got home from work and yeah I did my throat hurts and I can I've taken a covid test because I've now got a sore throat on top of it all but I I feel like the sore throat actually isn't like a sore throat the sore throat is more um a hoarse throat if that makes sense I think that is because I was screaming and shouting at the dogs to stay away from the ferret and get in between them so I think that's why my throat hurts but yes, the, the long and short of it is I've been feeling rubbishy and then I think I had that adrenaline kick and adrenaline come down yesterday after that situation. Um, so I have enforced a morning in my bed. Um, I did wake up to see Kenzie out and did uh, some editing for my videos, you know, for my vlogs. Had a cup of tea and um, something to eat and then I was back asleep again by... <sighs> probably half eight and i've been having some weird dreams as well this week so i had another weird dream and then i woke up at about 10 past 11 and i've chatted with emma because the vet's been to check on maggie and I had a chat with her and i'm now sitting and editing videos for the you talk um youtube channel and I mean that's work it's stuff that needs to be done so i may as well do it while i'm in bed salem has been out and salem has come back in again she came in through kenzie's window yeah i will get up in a minute i need a wee as well so that'll get me out of bed and then i'll pootle around in my pjs for a little bit and then i will have to get dressed because i'm picking kenzie up after school and then i'm going up to do some foot maintenance while it's dry on the sheep this isn't getting me out of bed is it but this is why I'm still in bed at just gone 12. There's a very good reason for it. I feel like I need to justify myself. One o'clock and my enforced rest period is over. Um, my head is feeling a little less muzzy. Um, it still feels like there's a headache lurking. But, you know, I am rested. I know I've had a good rest. So um, I'm going to go and down some water because that might also help me. I'm going to make a cup of tea and put some laundry on. Um, and then I'm going to come and clean this bathroom, hoover upstairs and then go downstairs and do some things down there. I have also offered to pick Sky up because I'm picking Kenzie up. So I'm just going to see if Sky needs picking up. So I just need to see if she responds um, at some point. She's probably in a lesson at the moment. And if she wants picking up, I shall do that when I pick Kenzie up. Um, so let's go make tea. Let's do that. I've decided I've got my muddy work coat in there. Let's just take these clothes out. No, that's okay. So I've got my muddy work coat in and I'm going to put Gloria's mat in there as well and give that a good wash in the washing machine and then do general laundry afterwards. Good morning, your poop machine. I haven't been out here today to deal with the poop. So I'm going to take her cage off of this shake all the stuff off outside. If she wants to go outside, she can do for a bit. It's a nice dry day, but it is very windy and I'm not sure how she'll feel about it. But I will put her out for a minute and see whether she wants to have a wander around or not. I 
was just going to say how much I liked their little friendship they seemed to be developing. Salem has deliberately gone and put herself next to Gloria. But as soon as she saw that I was filming, it was like she got caught out. <laughs> So this doormat and this I'm going to put in the washing machine with my farm coat, my dark farm coat and put it on a good wash and get all the muck off. Oh, and her cushion. I don't think the mat's going to go in as well, I think that'll be all too much. I'll have to do the mat separately. Right. I've told you, they do enjoy each other's company. Salem wants to be near her. You do. You want to be together. You just don't want me to know you want to be together. Cheekies. Yeah, you've got snacks and she's got snacks. Gloria, what's this? No, look, Salem, these are yours. Yeah, look, these are yours. And that's, oh, sorry, Gloria. I've had a little bit of a change around in here. I've hoovered all of that, cleaned all behind it, bleached it all, bleached all the floor. Um, the mat will go into the wash, I couldn't quite fat, fit that in. Bleached the bin, bleached the cleaning stuff over there, cleaned all of that out. Hello. I need to pick up some straw when I go and do the sheep later. Um, everything's had a really good clean. I haven't dusted, do need to do that, but everything else has been cleaned. Sorted out the laundry. I've mopped in here, I haven't hoovered that. Hello. And I need to do in here, and I haven't done upstairs at all. It is a rare blue sky day today. Look at that. It is quite windy. But look, blue sky. No rain. Pearl. Pearl, excuse me. What's with the new addition? What's, what's this new headwear that you've got going on? New fashion? Hmm. Okay. Was that a, could, could you help me? It's stuck on my head. Do you mind helping me? Sausage. Sausage. Look, bubbles! What's this? Ready? Bubbles! 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 Emma's bought a new thing. Um, it's a leg cleaner, foot cleaner for dogs, and we thought it might work for the sheep because we're going to put some special stuff on to protect them with all this mud that's around. Um, I'm not entirely happy about the, the motion we're going to have to use to use this. Emma's already had a good giggle about it. You're going to have a wash. Now wash your legs. Who's first? Who's got stinky feet? Anyone with stinky feet? You got stinky feet? Biscuits. Look autumn. Look autumn. Biscuits. Biscuits, look. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to get it out? That's why I don't need to, I'll just go to your pocket because there's bound to be some. Hey! Can I get it? Ha <laughs> ha 
Ready? Put your back into it, woman. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a good job. Squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. Oh, yeah. I like that. Oh, yeah. Good job, Emma. And actually, she's not arguing about it, really. Not for that, anyway. Oh, yeah. Your turn. You've got three other legs to do before you can have your turn. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, as we fried. How much do I just to slather it up? Over the feet? Yeah, at the base of the legs, where, where the mud goes. Could you get your nose out of that, please? Oh, okay. All the way up. Mm. Mm. Not too much harm, can it? <laughs> it's a barrier cream at the end of the it's day. It's a so. barrier cream for your swampy field. Right, there we go. Lube you up. Nice and uh, creamy. Creamy. That's quite impressive. A bit of kit, to be fair, oh. isn't it? Whoever thought of these is a is a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, love. Right. <laughs> oh, tweed. Oh, Autumn, does she not like that? Back end. Well, if you go near her bone, you're asking for trouble. To be fair. Oh. <laughs> Plenty of time for you to have a turn. I know. Oh, stand up. Oh no. Oh, Pip. You did a thing. I didn't do it, the sheep did. <laughs> I didn't. She's stooping it herself. Oh. Well, she's slippery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this seemed like such a good well, it was, it was. We might just need to make sure we, um, just... Blind leading the blind. Done. <laughs> You're done. You're done. <laughs> not happy about it, are you? Shall I, uh... Right, who we got now? Pearl. Uh, that way up, isn't it? Emma bought me unicorn bear buns um, yesterday. And I didn't get to eat them, so I'm eating them now. Don't they look cute? That's what a unicorn brain looks like. FYI. <laughs> <laughs>